Welcome to Chapter 7, Ionic Equilibria. Now, we shall continue with summary. To draw titration curve, there are a few things that you need to clarify first. That is, you must know whether it is strong acid or strong base, titrate with strong base, or titration between strong acid and weak base, or titration between weak acid and strong base. Because you need to know whether the salt is neutral, acidic, or basic. Only then you will know the pH at equivalence point will be equals to 7, less than 7, or more than 7. And because you know the characteristic of the salt, so only then we can determine the steep range will be 4 to 10 for neutral, 3.5 to 6.5 for acidic, 7.5 to 10.5 for basic salt. Okay, then only same thing. Once we know the steep range, we can choose the suitable indicator. Okay, for example, if we know it is neutral, pH equals to 7, then we can choose bromothermal blue. If it's acidic salt, we can choose methyl orange or methyl red. If we have basic salt, we can choose phenolphthalein. Now, I will show again this three titration curve. Okay, now let's look at it. If we have weak acid and strong base, we will have P basic salt pH more than 7. So the steep is 7.5 to 10.5. Okay, if we have strong acid and strong base, we will have neutral salt, pH equals to 7. The steep is 4 to 10. And if we have strong acid and weak base, we will have acidic salt. Okay, steep is 3.5 to 6.5. Okay, let's look at what is the, again, let's look at what is the difference between these three different salts, uh, these three different titration curve. Okay, if we look at the pH equals to 7, neutral salt, we can see that the steep is straight, uh, larger, okay, it's 4 to 10. If we look at the basic salt or acidic salt, the steep is shorter. And also the same thing, you can see that there's some, there's one part, okay, which is a, the pH almost maintained. It doesn't change much. Okay, this is due to the buffer solution or the buffer region where we have the weak acid and conjugate base or the weak base and its conjugate acid. So when we look again, when we look at the three different titration curve, then you can determine whether it is basic, acidic, or neutral salt. Okay, so why strong acid has larger vert vertical section in titration curve? It's just as simple as because strong acid completely dissociates, thus the pH is smaller. Okay, so it means a lower starting point in the graph. However, weak acid partially dissociates, thus the pH is larger, thus the starting point is higher. Then the vertical section will be longer for strong acid, larger for strong acid, and shorter for weak acid. Now, a reminder, you must know what is the analyte. Okay, analyte is the one that is inside the conical flask. Why do you need to know that? Because your indicator you will put into the, your pH indicator you will put into the conical flask or the analyte. Okay, so this will help you to determine the pH before titrant is added to the analyte or solution in the conical flask. Okay, then you have to be careful if you are having base as your analyte or in the conical flask, then your starting point will be pH more than 7. And then remember, the volume added is acid, no longer base. This is the pH for analyte. This is the one that is inside the burette. 
or it this is the titrans. Okay, if you are starting with acid in the conical flask, then your pH will be less than seven, and then the volume added is base that is in the burette or it is the titrant. Okay. Now another one that is important is to find the equivalence point. Okay. Find the volume of the titrant or concentration of the analyte typically only or titrant at equivalence point. So you need to know how much volume to reach equivalence point and also the concentration at equivalence point so that you can find the pH. Okay, another one is it can be acid, it can be base. Okay, depends on the question. Another one important is half equivalence point, but half equivalence point is specially only for strong acid and strong base, where you find the pH at which occurs one half of the volume of the equivalence point. Okay, so that's all for the summary for titration curve. Remember what is in the conical flask, what is in the burette. Equivalence point, use MAVA per MVBB equals to A per B. Then half equivalence point is only for strong acid and strong base. And remember, don't forget about the steep for different pH. Okay, so that's all for the summary for titration curve. Thank you.